Once again, thank you for joining me for this short time of reflection and prayer. How has your week been so far? Are you glad the kids are back at school? Are there tasks that you are avoiding? Or are there tasks that you are facing that seem insurmountable? Whatever your situation, know that God is closer than you can ever comprehend. Our reading today is from Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5. I will never leave you, never will I forsake you. Amen. There was a Native American tribe who had a ritual at the coming of age of the young men, their stepping stone to manhood. It involved spending a night alone, with only a bow and arrow to defend against any wild beasts that happened to pass by. Nighttime heightens all our senses, with the exception of sight, of course. The snap of a twig, the howl of a wild animal, the brush of a spider's web are perceived with an intensity unknown during the daylight. To pass the test, the young lad had to stay out alone all night. And as the night progressed, the senses intensified, the heart pounds and every movement of a leaf or twig may bring a terror. For those who pass the test, they witness a heartwarming sight as the sun comes up over her, the horizon. They spot their father in the distance. He had been waiting there all night, keeping watch ready to intervene if need be. Our God is like that, standing by, ready to draw alongside us when life becomes too intense, too hurtful, too dark for us to go on. Normally we live our lives on a fairly level plane, taking everything in our stride perhaps even barely being aware of God's presence. Occasionally we trip up or life throws us a curveball and we find ourselves in a very dark place. You know what I mean. The positive test from the doctors, that unexpected redundancy notice, those divorce papers landing on the doormat, or an unexpected visit to intensive care. Our peace can so easily be shattered. It even as it is shattered, our spiritual senses can be heightened so that we are aware that God is indeed beside us in those dark places. I will never leave you Never will I forsake you, God says. And we have a God who keeps his promises. And as the poem Footprints reminds us, we have a God who does not only shoulder our burdens, but also carries us when the going gets really tough. Let's pray. Almighty and gracious God, we thank you for being there for us in the good times as well as the bad. In the good times, Lord, help us to sense that you are with us and to give you thanks for all your goodness. And in the bad times, help us to sense your presence as you pour out into our hurts and griefs your presence your comfort and your power 
help us to rest and rely on your strength and not our own. And in all times, may we know and grasp onto your many promises in the Bible that you will be with us in all circumstances. Help us to recall that you will never leave us, never will you forsake us. And now the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever.